welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Right, so uh, you've got the flying cards, so things are starting to move on for you here and it looks like you're, uh, you know, that old situation has now come to an end and you are moving away from things. So you've got that ending off that moon over there. And, uh, you know, you could also be have been doing a lot of traveling recently um, as well. Now you've got the sun card over here. So a lot of enlightenment, a lot of clarity coming in for you and a lot of power. You might be focusing a lot on your work as well with that sun. Now you've got the sacral chakra being uh, activated over here. So you are working on an uh, acquiring security, stability, uh, and, uh, you know, working on uh, bettering your own um, uh, position in life, really. So you are very focused on maybe getting your financial independence as well with that sh sacral chakra being activated. Now, you've got the fruit and the falling card over here. So abundance has been coming to you. You've been working on that, uh, you know, trying to establish, uh, bringing in, uh, you know, the money or bringing in that coin. Uh, so establishing abundance over there. And maybe even, you know, there's a lot of trees over there. So trying to establish um, security, uh, you know, grounding yourself as well with that fruit card. You might have been feeling as though, you know, uh, you're feeling a little overwhelmed. Uh, falling uh, feels as though, you know, you haven't got any control of that situation. So that's how you might be feeling at this particular moment. And maybe that's why you're working extra hard to try and establish uh, yourself there. So you've got the nine going into the future over there. So wishes being fulfilled, uh, cycles almost coming to an end. Uh, you know, just the last uh, legs of, uh, you know, a difficult situation and things will be coming your way with that nine of um, that nine. You're rounding things off, really, tying up loose ends. You've got the spider card over here. So, uh, you know, maybe being very, very industrious in, and, and, you know, coming up with new solutions as, um, you know, when dealing with things, but also maybe dealing with some people that are a bit toxic. Maybe that situation feels a little sticky or feels as though, you know, you can't really uh, get a handle over it. So you might be having a little bit of difficulties over there. Now, um, with that nine, you are coming out of that cycle. So whatever you feel is, uh, is causing a little bit of a problem, trying to escape from that particular, uh, you know, uh, scenario or feeling a bit trapped in that particular scenario will now come to an end with that nine. So, you know, there are endings that are coming on and your life is starting to move forward. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Golden Dawn Tarot. So you've got the moon card over here, and this is showing that you are, uh, you know, expecting the worst case scenario. Maybe you're a bit too anxious about things, uh, you know, anticipating the worst to come. Maybe things look, you know, things always look worse in the moonlight. There's a lot of facts that are hidden over here. You can only see half the face of the moon. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of dangers over there. So you are very, very worried, very, very anxious. Maybe you're not sleeping well as ni at night, uh, you know, anticipating that things are going to w not work out for you. Uh, so this is not the time, really, for you to be making any big decisions uh, because things have not been revealed yet. And they might seem a lot better, uh, you know, once the dust has settled. So still feeling a bit depressed as well. Uh, and this is, you know, clouding your judgment, maybe uh, making you uh, a bit more anxious or make me, making you a little paranoid <laughs> that things are not going to work out. But the moon card is not a negative card. It just means that you need to see things with more clear, clarity and, you know, uh, ignore um, all your anxieties, ignore those fears because they are not based on reality. Now, you know, this could have been because you are so upset and you're feeling a bit hopeless and a bit helpless as well with that Three of Swords. So whatever happened, uh, you know, you felt like you had no control. And this is clouding uh, the way you're looking at things. Uh, it's making you feel as though you're disempowered. And 
the card below that was the Ten of Swords. So a very, very difficult situation that you've been through. There was a lot of loss. Uh, everything seems to have crumbled around you. This Ten of Swords is almost like the Tower card. Uh, so there was a, a great loss. Uh, and this has made you very, very depressed. Maybe, um, you know, uh, and also you've got a lot of heartbreak over there. That rose is gone to pieces. Uh, you know, you could have been involved in a third-party situation over here and you really don't know what to do. You can't even make plans for the future she's got her hands over her eyes there so because you know you are so upset so heartbroken about what happened and you could also be dealing with legal issues as well so things are going on around you that is confusing you and upsetting you quite a bit so whatever problems you went through you've got that prince of wands uh you know there's been a lot of issues you've got this um man riding this uh lion over here now this is generally a card that belongs to aries but you can see around this person you're having to rely on your inner strength to get over the circumstance of here that's why he's uh, got the lion ahead so you're you're actually drawing from reserve strength over here and you can see there's a lot of fire going on around of you. So a lot of problems, uh, a lot of uh, drama that you're still having to deal with. So, um, you know, you're trying to find your way out of it, but everything seems to be in a bit of a mess there for you. You know, there's a lot of trauma that you're also going through. Now, you've got the Knight of Cups over here. So you could have well been dealing with a water sign person over here, or you could be, um, you know, with the Knight of Cups here, this represents almost the King of Cups. So you could also be... Um, uh, asking uh, um, somebody for advice. So this could be getting some kind of medical um, counseling or some kind of uh, professional advice uh, in order for you to get through this particular situation because there seems to be a lot of depression that you have been going through. Uh, so there's somebody that's around you that is supporting you and giving you advice, good advice on how to get over the situation. Now, uh, in the past, you've got that Seven of Swords. So this person that you were dealing with, uh, that you've had this breakup with, uh, has been uh, very, very treacherous, very, very uh, nasty, very, very sly. They've been using a lot of uh, nasty means. So there was a lot of lies, deception, deceit going on with that Seven of Swords. Um, and it also looks like they're using it you know, on a legal basis as well because you've got that Swords talking about legalities. Uh, so they might be trying to manipulate uh, you on a legal basis as well. But there was a lot of lies and treachery and maybe this is the reason why you're feeling so disempowered uh, and you know they've caused a lot of problems as well with that fire going on around you there. So you're coming through quite a, a difficult situation. Now you're waiting for things to change with that three of wands. You might be seeking advice and support from friends and family around you but there's still uh, you know a lot of problems that you are trying to sort out over there with that three of wands. Now, going into the future, you've got that Queen of Wands. So this is you taking control and detaching yourself from the outcome of the situation. So you need, this is your card, you need to uh, take your control right back again, use your intuition, and use your inner strength to deal with it, and really detach from whatever is going on, rise above that situation, you know, almost like the phoenix rising from the ashes. You need to overcome it, uh, but not get emotionally uh, upset about what is going on, because that is just dragging you down. So uh, you've got the Hermit card over here. So a lot of things coming to light of uh, you know for you with this lamp, but also uh, you will be focusing a lot more on yourself, on your career, and learning a lot of lessons as well. And this is the phase that you're going through. So this is the card do ruled by Virgo. You are spending a lot more time by yourself. Maybe you are withdrawing as well from everybody else to try and heal from that situation and try to get in, you know you're trying to get a new perspective. You've got the Prince of Pentacles coming in over here, so you're going to be focusing a lot on your work and focusing a lot on your career and your personal finances and getting security. You're working very, very hard, uh, and it's all slow going, but you're on the right path as well, and you know you will be able to accumulate uh, your security, your funds, your finances will all improve, even though it seems like it's pretty slow. So you need to detach from that outcome of whatever is happening. Uh, you know, emotionally withdraw from it. Don't get yourself upset. Uh, over and worried over it. You've got the Princess of Cups. You're hoping for some kind of new, um, you know, uh, offer to come in, or new friendship to come in, or support to come in. Maybe you're even hoping for an apology to come in as well. <coughs> but you're waiting for a change to come in as far as that emotional status goes. 
you're waiting for that good offer to come in. So going to the future and the final outcome, it looks like, you know, there might be an offer that comes in. There's going to be a lot of support coming in from friends around you, uh, and that's going to allow you. They're going to give you a lot of good advice and um, emotional support, and that's going to allow you to blossom and bloom and get over the situation. You've got that um, a water lily uh, you know in that particular cup over there so flowers blooming and blossoming for you but advice coming in from people and support coming in from people that will uh, allow you to overcome the situation um, and then you've got the knight of pentacles over here so this is about you being uh, you know um, getting that financial security as well so this is similar to the king of pentacles uh so you know there is that offer there there might be a lot of more focus on work um and a lot more focus on on um you know establishing yourself uh on the work front over there this could also be you know being focused on your work you will get money coming in as well and uh you know uh, there might even be a payoff uh, from whatever the situation is there. So there could be a legal uh, settlement as well coming in for you with that uh, Knight of Pentacles. And it's also about, you know, um, establishing stability and, um, you know, uh, you need to keep yourself focused on that work and not get so... Uh, uh, emotional about whatever has happened. So try and uh, be very logical uh, about how you're dealing with circumstances. So this is a cycle that has now come to an end. It was a karmic cycle and you have learned a lot of lessons from it. You've got the world over there. So the situation is now finished and done with and it is now time for you to move on. You are emerging as somebody who has learned a lot and will be somebody who guides people in the future uh, You know, and you have a handle over things. So you will rise about that situation um, and you will get that stability. You've got a lot of um, fixed signs. So you've got a Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius, and Scorpio over there. So you're getting uh, control of that situation, rising above it, and uh, you know, emerging as somebody that people will admire as well. So whatever you've went through has been quite um, you know, life-changing for you. Uh, but you know, it's time for you to just focus on yourself, focus on your career, and stop uh, try not to be too anxious about things. Uh, it looks like, you know, the worst is over. Once you take control of that situation, you will emerge very victorious over it. Um, and it's time for you now to focus on yourself uh, and leave all that past behind. It's also a time, you know, when a lot of spiritual growth has happened. So choose freedom. Sometimes you might feel as though your way is blocked, and often it is just an illusion. You can free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. So turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you can act on. So, you know, you need to weigh your options up. Look at, uh, look at something different to do. Change your direction, change your pathway, change the way you have been looking at things and focus on something else uh, and, you know, leave that relationship behind because it was not serving you. And it looks like it's a karmic ending with that world card. So maybe you did need to go through a cycle to learn lessons. But now that you've learned it, take the lessons with you and move forward. You've got the six of emotions over there, which says memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It is important for you to rem remember the past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. People you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children might be an important issue and you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. So there's dealings with children. If you have children uh, from this relationship, or um, you, know, you might need to focus on them and get your, your feelings away from negativity. On the other hand, if you don't, then uh, you know, there might be somebody from the past that comes in uh, that offers you that advice and that support and that, um, you know, that, uh, that love that you need to get through this particular situation. And the last card is the two of thought, which says the angels have noticed that you are not moving forward. You have multiple options that you are reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels um, for the signs as to what direction to change or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. So you are being faced with a choice and maybe the choice is to leave that past behind. You can see she's walking away from this person and, uh, you know, review all these options and make a decision and sever those those uh, energies that are cut those energies out that are causing depression and upset. It's time for you to start a brand new cycle and, uh, you know, come back into your own, get your power back. Um, and, uh, you know, take control back of that situation. Don't let it take control of you. So uh, focus on that work. That is the thing that is going to help you heal 
and it's also going to generate that stability that you're looking for. And there are people around you with that three of cups that will give you that advice, that support, and that love that you are looking for and help you get through the situation. So I hope this reading resonates with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching.